Hi everyone, it's Chris Campbell of the Carpenters Union. Uh, we're here today at the Carpenters um, graduation ceremony and um, would like to interview, or we will be interviewing a few of our graduates on our program. Okay, so let's go on. I know you've done a lot of work, you've worked on many projects in Toronto, right? And um, in Ontario, but I heard you've been going from one province to the next working. Kevin, can you tell me um, some of the provinces that you've worked uh, during your apprenticeship or after your apprenticeship? Uh, well, after shortly after uh, achieving my Red Seal, um, I uh, went online to uh, carpenters.org and uh, did a resume for the Travelers Program. And shortly after that, uh, I got called out west to uh, Alberta to the Curl Oil Sands Project, working for uh, PCL directly as a scaffolder. Right after I got the Red Seal, um, I was invited to, to be a, a, an assistant instructor at the, at the Union Hall. Uh, particularly on the Choice Program, where it's a collaboration between the UBC and uh, Toronto Community Housing and, and the YMCA, where you uh, you renovate some of the Toronto Community Housing and and you and you you, you know you show some at risk at risk youth uh, you know a career choice in the trades, and uh, that was that was really really uh, a great great experience, and I really liked working with uh, with the, with the group that we had there, and we were very successful at it. And, we really made those uh, those Toronto community houses in, into something special, and then and then shortly after that, I, I did go on to supervising a uh, commercial retail outlet. And my wife, uh, we decided to have children, and so she wanted me to leave to find a safer career. Now, I really didn't know what to do. I ended up doing factory work for the first couple of years, and I was miserable. And my wife was looking at me, going, "Well, what do you is it that you want to do? What do you love to do?" And I said, "You know, I miss working with my hands." And so, now, honestly, I just sort of knocked on local 27's door. And uh, they directed me to the former class, which was outstanding. Uh, having come in there with a lot of already some previous construction experience, what I took from that course was uh, I, I couldn't put value on it. It was immense. We're here with Daniel, our provincial and uh, national flooring champion. Daniel, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a journeyman floor layer. I've been uh, doing this for six years now and um, I recommend it to anybody. It's a great trade to get started in. I'd have to say that my grandfather was definitely a big influence for me. Uh, he was a carpenter by trade and uh, when I was younger he used to take me to the jobs with him and show me around and so I started building custom homes and doing renovations from a young age. How to persevere, I had to work hard at it, I had to, yeah, just basically had to work hard at it. And I would know I wanted it, so five years later, I got my red shield and I feel good about it. I've been in the Carpenters Union for 20 years and I've worked at several places, um, uh, OPG being one of the main ones, where I was a supervisor for um, four years and uh, this opening, uh, I, I always wanted to teach. That was one of my passions. And um, I got the opportunity when I learned that there was an opening at the training center. I sent my resume in, I applied, and I was successful. Being in all these heavy theory courses, having the, the background and the understanding and level of comprehension that I got in the appre apprenticeship really, really gave me um, an advantage when I'm when I'm learning all these uh, principles and so on and so forth, and in, in an academic setting like university, which it's it's the two go hand in hand quite beautifully. My name is Mike York, president of Local 27, and I can tell you. On behalf of Local 27, we're extremely pleased that everyone is here tonight. We have a great 
listing of apprentices here this evening. I think uh, Leslie told me we have 48 grads, of a total of 78, but we have many people that are working nights, working around the country, and putting their skills to work in this incredible construction industry in Canada. So thank you very much to our graduates that are here.